This is an English listening practice. I will read the same sentence twice. Please fill the blank space with a word. Let's get started. Some of these seedlings would probably inherit the nectar excreting power. Those individual flowers which had the largest glands or nectaries, and which excreted most nectar, would be oftenest visited by insects, and would be oftenest crossed, and so in the long run would gain the upper hand. Those flowers, also, which had their stamens and pistils placed, in relation to the size and habits of the particular insects which visited them, so as to favor in any degree the transportal of their pollen from flower to flower, would likewise be favored or selected. Some of these seedlings would probably inherit the nectar excreting power. Those individual flowers which had the largest glands or nectaries, and which excreted most nectar, would be oftenest visited by insects, and would be oftenest crossed, and so in the long run would gain the upper hand. Those flowers, also, which had their stamens and pistils placed, in relation to the size and habits of the particular insects which visited them, so as to favor in any degree the transportal of their pollen from flower to flower, would likewise be favored or selected. I will give only one, not as a very striking case, but as likewise illustrating one step in the separation of the sexes of plants, presently to be alluded to. Some holly trees bear only male flowers, which have four stamens producing rather a small quantity of pollen, and a rudimentary pistil. Other holly trees bear only female flowers. These have a full-sized pistil, and four stamens with shriveled anthers, in which not a grain of pollen can be detected. Having found a female tree exactly 60 yards from a male tree, I put the stigmas of 20 flowers, taken from different branches, under the microscope, and on all, without exception, there were pollen grains, and on some a profusion of pollen. I will give only one, not as a very striking case, but as likewise illustrating one step in the separation of the sexes of plants, presently to be alluded to. Some holly trees bear only male flowers, which have four stamens producing rather a small quantity of pollen, and a rudimentary pistil. Other holly trees bear only female flowers. These have a full-sized pistil, and four stamens with shriveled anthers, in which not a grain of pollen can be detected. Having found a female tree exactly 60 yards from a male tree, I put the stigmas of 20 flowers, taken from different branches, under the microscope, and on all, without exception, there were pollen grains, and on some a profusion of pollen. 